Hey, hello everybody, and welcome to Academic English One. This class is for Peace Level, and what we're going to do today is we're just going to introduce the class and we're just going to get to know each other a little bit. Now, due to the coronavirus, there are issues with classes, so it's going to be hard for us to meet today. So we've made online classes for the first two weeks. Today's class is just going to be very simple OT, where you can get to know me a little bit. Um, but the most important thing is I will tell you about the course. What kind of things you can learn on this course, what you need for this class. Um, and in general, I'll try to give you as much information as possible. Now, when I first started making these videos, I thought they had to be for 50 minutes. So it's a little bit long today, but maybe next week it'll be only 25 minutes. For today, just sit back and listen. Try to understand and listen to my voice. Hopefully you'll understand everything and you'll be able to enjoy the class that we're going to have today. So I'm going to start today's class by introducing the very basics of this class, what you'll need, everything about that. So I'm going to say goodbye so you don't have my face off-putting in the corner here. So just listen carefully, just try to understand everything, and if you ever have a question, I'll always help you. So as you can see here, we've got my basic information. And the first thing here is my name. So you can see it says Fraser William Johnston Deesby. This is my full name, and you'll never have to remember my full name, but if you can, that's great. The next thing that's on there is my office. As you can see, I'm in Bengyongwan 406. So this is my office where all the foreign professors are together. So if you ever need to find me, or if you ever want to talk to me, you can try and look in there. But my schedule is a bit busy this semester, and I will have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and almost every class is full. So I won't have free time, so if you want to find me, the best place is the classroom. But if you ever need to find me outside of those class hours, you can try the office. The next thing is very easy, is email. And already some students have emailed me and asked me questions, not a problem. If you send me an email, I'm probably going to respond to you within an hour or two because my phone doesn't seem to want to send me any emails, but I will check them and then I will get them. The next one is Cacao Talk. Now my ID is Hoofs Fraser, and you can send me a message at any time you want, but obviously don't send me messages at 12 o'clock at night and be like, hey Fraser, I'm drinking soju today. That's okay, you can tell me in class time that you went drinking the other night. But if you ever need to send a message to me, it's not a problem. Send me a cacao talk, ask me a question. I want us to become familiar, to get to know each other. I want us to try and have a comfortable class together. So if you ever have a problem, if you're ever unsure, please just cacao talk me and send me a message and I'll respond. If I don't have class, I'll respond within like 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes quicker but usually I'm not late when I get this because my phone will give a notification. So remember, just send a message to Hoofs Fraser. Everything's okay. The last one, it's for an appointment. And if you really need to see me one-on-one, -on -one, the best thing to do is to talk to me after class because what will happen is I'll finish class a little bit early so that students can go to Omungwan or Kyoyangwan. And the idea is that you can go as far as way as you can from me after class finishes, or you can come and talk to me. Maybe even break time. You want to have a question? No, no problem. Come and talk to me. I'll answer everything. I'm a very friendly person, and I'm trying to help you. So everything I do is to help you, to make you comfortable, to make you have a nice time in class, and to be positive, because I know that you can do it with help. So if you ever have a problem, just come and talk to me person in person, no problem. So those are the ways and the easiest ways to get in touch with me. Now, what I'm going to do is just explain the very simple things about my name. My name is really long and it's very difficult. So all you have to do is call me Fraser. So if you ever have a problem in class, you go like, oh, excuse me, Fraser, or professor, teacher, sir. Anything is okay, but if you say my name, I'll know that you want to talk to me. So I'm like, oh, they just shouted Fraser. So then I'll come over and I'll come and talk to you. My name is Fraser, and if you talk to me often, 
I'll remember your name very quickly. When I have classes, I try to remember all of my students' names. So the idea is if you talk to me a lot, no problem, I'll remember you easily. And my class is here just to make it easy for you. So if you have a problem, ask me and I'll always help you as quick as possible. The only thing I don't want is I don't want you to shout, hey. So you're like, hey, yo, Fraser, what's up? That's not okay. You can always say, hello, Fraser, or good morning, Fraser, or hello, that's fine. But I want you to make sure that you just say my name and no hey. All right. Now this course is very simple. The idea is, is to help you use the English that you have in effective communication. So I try to make every class a time, a place where you can practice your English, where you can talk with each other. So the idea is I want you to use the words from the textbooks that we have to have a real life English like conversation together. Now, some of you might be a little bit shy. So you might be like, oh, I'm not so good at speaking. That's not a problem. Don't be shy. Just always try your best and remember that in class we'll speak and listen with each other. So due to the coronavirus, I'm not sure how classes will be, but for now, I'm on the assumption that we will have class together in two weeks. And at that time, we'll have some class time where we can talk together. Now, if it has to change because of the situation and it's more dangerous or there's some problem, I'll change my class. But the idea is I'll always make sure that the focus is on speaking and listening. Because when you studied in high school, you maybe just studied vocabulary and words. So I want you to practice everything you know, just practice as much as you can. And the most important thing is to be comfortable. Some of you will be a little bit awkward with your English or you're not sure what to say. Not a problem. Everybody makes mistakes. So I want you to be more comfortable with the way that you are. Don't worry about anything in this class time. You make a mistake in English class, no problem. I'm going to help you. We'll fix the problems. You'll become better at English. I want you to be comfortable and happy in class time. Now the goals for this is very simple. There's going to be different vocabulary and grammar and expressions that we get from daily life. So we'll study about them from the textbook. We're going to put together the information and knowledge that you already have so that you can converse with foreigners. So on our campus, there's many foreigners, including me and the professors, students, even workers. So the idea is I want you to talk as much as possible. Never be shy about your ability. Always be positive. You can do it. And in class time, I always say, go, go, go. So just go, 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 be positive, and you'll be able to talk with foreigners, anybody. I want you to use basic sentence patterns using the things that we've studied and your previous knowledge to have easy conversations. So in class time, there's lots of chances to talk with your partner, uh, sometimes with other people in the class, but it's just to engage with each other, be friendly and talk with each other, help each other. And as I said, to always develop your proficiency and confidence in English. I want you to become better after this semester. Hopefully your speaking has improved. Hopefully your confidence has improved and you'll get a great grade. But as you can see here, this is the real thing. I want us to have fun. Uh, I make many terrible ajegags and maybe I'm a little no jam, but that's not a problem. I'm okay. Maybe you're very... Uh, sleepy in the mornings not a problem i'm a hundred percent energy so every day i'll be smiling even if it's 9 30 even if it's 5 30 i always want us to have fun and have a smile on our faces so even if you're having a bad day i'll try to cheer you up and try to make class fun make it so that you can have a nice time make friends and just have a positive university experience now, in class time, you do need to bring some things. So I've made a very simple PPT today, but the most important thing over here is the pencils. You will need a pen or a pencil because I always provide worksheets for class. And the idea is in class time, you'll talk with a partner. 
you'll write down their answer or I've given you some grammar and then you speak with your partner and you just write down simple answers or your own answer like this. You will need your smartphone and smartphones, phones in classes is not a problem ever. Maybe you don't know the word, use your dictionary. Maybe you want to uh, find something on the internet about English or about a country or about a person. I don't know that. I'm not always knowing all the answers. So you can use your smartphone to find the answers. Obviously, if there's a spelling part, I can help you with that. But if you're asking for information about something that I don't know, use your smartphone. Smartphones are great. I have no problems with them in class time. The only thing I say is every class I give break time. So what I want you to do is I want you to use your smartphones for YouTube or Kakao Talk or other Instagram things like this in break time only. If you're always on your phone, it's rude, but it's also you're not going to hear what people say. So I want you to try to just concentrate for 40, 50 minutes. Then we take a break for 10 minutes. You can go to the bathroom. Uh, you can like play games on your phones during break time. But during class time, just try and study. So always bring your smartphone. You can bring a tablet or you can bring a notebook. But you'll always need a pen or a pencil to write your answers down. So always bring things to class. And the final thing you need to do is bring your top notch to and writing book. Now, depending on the classes, we'll use it um, maybe top notch about 70%, 80% of class time. And then the writing part will be maybe 20% of class time, like that, maybe 30%. But you will need top notch too. And this is the third edition of this book. And the idea is for this class, we'll use this to get the grammar and the vocabulary. And then we'll do speaking practice, use my worksheets that I've made and just improve your English, get a understanding of the grammar very simply. I'll explain everything in English. And then at the end of class, we'll do a little bit of the essence of writing one. Now this textbook is focused on paragraphs and it has infographic. Infographic is just a poster with some pictures and information to describe it. So don't worry too much about the infographic. It's just simply like basic information with pictures. But the paragraph writing is just to help you write at university. And as you can see, it says here, Dear Pilsu. <laughs> so you have to remember to bring or buy or have the book. Now, sometimes students bring PDF of the books. That's perfect. You can use notebook and make a PDF or tablet, no problem. Uh, some students have a copy of the book and they bring it. No problem. Just make sure you do the work. Now, what we'll do is we'll just go through a couple of extra things about the class. And how is this class evaluated? Well, how do you get your grade? Now, it's split into some basic parts. The first one is attendance. So maybe your attendance part here is 6% for me and 6% for the Korean teachers, but combined together. The next part is your midterm, and your midterm test will be a written test. The next part says presentation one, which is group speaking project. Now, because of the coronavirus, I don't know how this is going to work. As I said before, we might have to change a little bit. But the idea is for this one, group speaking project, all you have to do is talk together in a small group, and I'll listen to you. The next one is speaking with yourself, uh, with me. So yourself and me together. The next one is the final exam. And that's 15%. And that will also be a written test. And then finally, you have the Korean teachers class, which is 38%. Now, what you have to remember is if you get perfect attendance, and your midterm grade is 100 and your speaking is A plus, A plus like this and your final exam is A plus but your Korean teachers class is D0 or F grade we have to combine them together at the end of the semester we put together all of the grades I will do this and then I will find out the grade for you so you just have to try your best in everything even if you hate English or you have a problem with English, 
that's okay. Just try your best. I don't mind if you struggle with English. I want to help you get better. But remember, we have to combine everything together. So always just try your best and don't give up. Now, as you can see, I've just quickly split this down. So in week six, we'll do a group speaking activity, which is 10% of your final grade. And three or four people will be in the group. And you'll just have a discussion together. Now, the first part of the semester, the first seven weeks that we study together, is all aiming for the midterm exam. So this group speaking is about the midterm exam. So it will help you get a good grade for this. So work together, talk together, and I just listen to what you talk about. So you'll be practicing some vocabulary and grammar, but you'll just be having a conversation together. The next one is your midterm exam. So we'll do a review class and then we'll have midterm. The idea is this is a written test covering chapters from top notch two. Now, Top Notch 2 has chapters 1, 2, 4, and 5 that will make up the questions on the test. They will be short answer questions and multiple choice. There's no paragraph writing for this textbook for Top Notch 2. So if you want to make a copy of Top Notch 2, you need to copy chapters 1, 2, 4, and 5 because they will be on the midterm test. On the midterm test, there will also be the writing book and that's a paragraph. So you're going to have to write a short paragraph which is about unit one. And unit one is narration. And narration is just telling me a story about you. So you will have to write a short paragraph on the midterm exam, but it's just a very simple story. And we always review and I always give some hints about what to think about for the test, so don't worry about that. The next one is the super happy conversation with Fraser. No stress, just be happy. This is your chance to talk to me one on one. And you can do a presentation, but the easiest way is just to talk to me. And it's your chance to improve your grade, get a good score, show me your English skills. It's just three minutes. We will have a little QA together. And hopefully after like 14 classes together, you won't be shy and you'll be confident to talk to me. The most important thing here is no stress. Don't stress about speaking English. Just try your best, talk to me. And what I'll do is after midterm exam, I will maybe class 10, we'll go through the questions that will be on here. My class, nothing is ever gonna be like a surprise test. Like, hey, today we have a test. I don't do my class like that. I always prepare you and I always help you get the best score possible. So what I want you to do is just listen to what I say and you'll get a great grade for this class. The final part is the final exam. And this is week 16, which is around June 22nd because they delayed class time. Now, final exams are 15%. And I put here class 16, we don't know exactly how this will work. But the idea is it should be week 16, class 16 or 15 around that time. And I'm it will be based on units 7, 9 and 10. So again, top notch 2, you need to know 7, 9 and 10 will be on the final exam. We don't know the questions, but I do know that the writing book will be on there. And the writing book will be unit 3. And that's comparing and contrasting. So you'll have to remember how to compare and contrast things. Now the single speaking test will help you with the final exam. You'll choose a topic that has some of the grammar from the final test and you'll talk to me about it. So again, the speaking is to help you get a good grade and help you pass the test and get a great score for this class. Now in this university, we have very simple grading policy. If it's your first class time, like it's the first time and you're a new student, we have a relative grading system. So for example, there's 10 A plus or A zeros, 10 B plus B zeros, 10 C plus to F grade. So all of my classes have 30 students. So like 10, 10, 10. So for maybe 90% of the students, this is the grading system. So you just have to try your best always be positive, you'll get a great grade. If you are retaking the class, so you are 재수강, 
then you have to get an absolute score. So your final score is your score. So if your final score is 90, you get A0. If your final score is 60, game over. No, I'm kidding. The idea is you just have to try your best to get a grade that's good for you. If you look at the bottom, it says missing 12 hours of class equals a fail. This is school policy. So you have to remember, if you miss a lot of classes, I have to give you an F grade. That's the school policy, the university policy. Now, as I said to you, attendance is 12% of your grade. So you have to just be on time. If you come to class late, more than two times, your attendance and participation grade will drop. So this means if you come late twice, you won't be able to get an A plus because you'll have absences, you'll have missed classes, it'll be a problem. This is university rule. But I understand like nine o'clock or 9.30 in the morning, the traffic is really bad coming to school. So what you can do is you can send me a cacao talk. So just send me a message. Oh, hello, Fraser, cacao talk. Oh, hello, Fraser. Uh, I'm a little late because the bus is late. Then I understand. But if you're late every class, it's a problem. But the idea is maybe you have a class in Gyoyangguan or Umungguan and you have to come all the way to Bengyongguan. It's difficult. So if you tell me that you have a class that's very far away before our class, I can understand this situation. But if you don't tell me, if you don't talk to me, it's a problem. So don't be shy, come and talk to me. Remember, if there's a reason why you must miss a class, like seminar, or you have MT or something like this, just send me a message. But you always have to bring proof to show me why you missed a class. So you go to the doctor, you're sick, no problem. At this time, especially with coronavirus, that's great. You have to go to the hospital, you tell me why, and you can bring me your hospital note and I can check your attendance. So the idea is we always want to check to make sure that everything is okay. So just bring me proof why, you've ab why you're absent or why there's a problem. We're all okay. Now, due to the coronavirus, we have to make up a class. We've missed one week of classes. To do this, uh, there's no official policy. So what we'll do is I'll also try to give you some work during class time to make sure that we don't miss anything and hopefully we will be perfect and there'll be nothing that we've missed. So we'll make sure that we have 16 teaching weeks. So don't worry about that. Now, in our school, we have an English zone. Now, I think the English zone is still happening. Nobody's told me any different. So you have to remember for Pyeonghwaban, for Pete's class, you have to go three times during the semester. If you do not go to the English time, the English zone three times, I have to minus five points. So this will be deducted from your final grade. So you have to go. If you go to English zone more times, so you go six more times, so that's nine times in total, you'll get one plus point onto your final grade. So for example, your score is 94, no English zone, so you didn't go three times, minus points. But you went nine times plus one point so that gets you to a plus so from a zero to a plus no english zone a zero goes to e plus so at the end of the semester the way google center will tell us who's missed the classes so you have to go three times if this is different or it changes don't worry but i'll tell you when we have class together face to face now you can choose any like class that fits your schedule or, or any class that you're interested in, like toic speaking, writing, anything you want to do, just try to fit it into your schedule. Now, for Pyeonghwaban, for peace class, only for my students, I say that if you go to English clinic one time, two, you get another bonus points. So I'll give you an extra bonus point if you go to English clinic plus nine times, so total is ten. Our class deadline is the end of the semester. They haven't told me anything different. So just try to get your nine stamps or three stamps or 10 stamps by the end of the semester. So remember, you have to have been three times, that's minimum, nine times for a bonus and nine times plus one clinic for two bonus points. 
this is the end of the introduction about this class. If you ever have a problem or something you're not sure about, email or cacao taught me, uh, that's never a problem. I'll always answer you. So we're going to head on to the next part. Hey everyone, we're back again, and this time it's the maybe <laughs> the best part of class or the worst part of class. But the idea is it's time for me to introduce myself and I'm going to very quickly talk to you about who I am, the kind of things I like to do and just introduce very quickly so that you hopefully don't have any questions now. This might be the best part of class time or the worst part of class time and maybe it's super no jam because it's very boring but I'll try to make it as quick as possible and as fun as it can be and I'll just introduce and just make a few jokes about my family and me but everything's okay and if you ever have a question or you want to talk to me send me a question you can phrase it do you like sports sure you can ask me at the end of class when we do our google doc maybe you want to ask me other questions no problem just listen carefully and hopefully everything will be cool now i'm going to close me down so bye everybody i love you i'm just going to close it down now and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the introduction so as you can see here, we have a picture of where I'm from. And maybe you heard my accent, maybe you could hear where I was from, but I'm actually from the UK. So the UK is Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, Wales, we're all together here. But you can actually hear from my voice, maybe I'm from England. Now, if you look at England's shape, not including Wales, England shape here, you can see it's very similar to Korea. So down here at the bottom, like Brighton, it's similar to Busan. It's like the beach area where people like to go. Uh, the next one over here, you can see London. I guess London is like Daegu, and I guess you've got to be careful around there at the moment, but Daegu is the area. Uh, further up north over here, you can see that we have like, maybe this area is very similar to Incheon. And then you can see over here, we have Gangwado. So it is very similar to Korea. Like this area is Gangwon area. And then you can see like this part here, it's very similar to the DMZ and we kind of divide here with Scotland. So Scotland is the North Korea of this story, but we don't fight. We're all very friendly and we're all pretty harmonious together. Now I'm actually from this place here and you can see it's on the East coast, the Northeast coast. So it's very similar to Gangwondo. And maybe you could think like, okay, Gangwondo, maybe about Samtok or Dongeshi. It's kind of those areas where I'm from. But now I actually live a little bit further south. And I actually live near to Cambridge. And Cambridge is a very beautiful town. It's near to where I live. But both of these places are very quiet places. Now, this is my hometown and it's called Scarborough. And as I say, it's very similar to Dongeshi like Donghae City, like it has a beach, like Mangsan Beach, it's got a harbour area where the ships go for fishing, it's got lots of hotels like the Donghae Hilton or something like this, but we have a castle and we had to protect ourselves many times from many different people from a long time ago, so we've always built castles around the UK, so you'll find them everywhere to protect from, you know, Vikings, to protect from the French or the Germans, like these kind of things whenever there's been wars. So there's been a lot of fighting, so we have lots and lots of castles. Now, my hometown is a very old person's town. Young people don't want to stay there, so it's similar to Gangwondo. Many people from Gangwon or other places come to Seoul or the city because these places are interesting to be, and my hometown is not interesting. The idea is you can see that it's a little bit old people style, so it's more of an old person style. And people usually come here just for vacation, just to go in the sea. But the sea is super, super, super cold. It's even in the summertime when the temperatures are hot, the temperature of the sea is really cold. So it's not the best place to go. This is my current hometown area. And I live in an area called Bury St. Edmunds. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. There's no sea. And you can see there's lots of cathedrals, so it's a slightly bigger town. You can see, again, lots of castles from very old places. Maybe even they've been around for like 400, 500 years. 
and still in good condition. But the idea is the UK is a very quiet place. It's very easy to get around if you have a car, but it's not good for public transport. Public transport is terrible. Buses are slow, trains are late and expensive. So the UK is expensive for these kind of things. And this is my home. And the picture on the left is where I live. And as you can see, there is nothing here. I live in the countryside. My friends are cows. In the winter, I went home for one month and I maybe, if you don't include my neighbors, I maybe saw five people in one month. Cows are my friends. I t I'm Dr. Doolittle. I talk with animals all the time. So I'm not crazy, but I live in a very rural area. And this is an example of the kind of houses that we have around where I live. And this is Suffolk area and these are the very traditional houses around the east of England and it's very cute and quaint and my hometown area is really nice so I enjoy living there. Now the final part about England is the weather. People always say come to England it's beautiful or it's nice but it's always rainy and last summer when I went home it was a little bit different because when I was home it was 38 Celsius and it was as low as nine degrees in summertime. So usually England is cool, but it's always rainy. But because of global warming, it's becoming drier and hotter. Or climate change is changing it a little bit. So I really hate hot and humid weather. So Korean summers, I don't stay here. Korea for me is too hot and humid. The UK is just hot but dry. Mm, in winter time when I go home, it's a little bit cool, like one to 10 Celsius. And there's just a little bit of snow. Like it maybe snows like one week maximum, but usually it's just one day and stops or two days and stops. In the north of England and Scotland, it's colder and snows more, but where I live, it doesn't snow at all. Uh, so when you come to England, always bring an umbrella because it's gonna rain. Or, like this guy at the back, just don't bring an umbrella and many people just walk around and just get wet. But this picture is kind of very similar to how my friends think. It's November and, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's 15 degrees, it's so cold, just because it's autumn. But then when we get to spring and April and it's 15 degrees, shorts and t-shirt. So we are really hard to understand. England people are crazy. We love the weather, we talk about the weather. I'm not crazy, but I do wear shorts and t-shirts even in winter. If you ever see EPL soccer games, you can see fans are wearing no shirt and it's like zero degrees. And this is very common in England. Lots of people are not used to the summer. So we always wear shorts and t-shirts and like we always wear shorts. And especially we always wear t-shirts. Uh, and in class time, I probably will wear t-shirts or just short sleeve and you'd be like Fraser are you hot never I never get cold or hot it's always the wrong one for me like I'm always either gonna be too hot too cold so the easiest way is just to wear t-shirts because then I'm always cool enough now England has lots of famous food and you know most of them so you know like cake tea we like to drink tea we like scones we like sandwiches remember England food it's a sandwich we love fish and chips it's not healthy maybe like 2,000 calories just here you'll get really fat so England people are a little obese and then we also have meat so we love to eat meat and we love these ones here which is Yorkshire pudding so we love to eat lots of food usually not healthy food but we do have this food Ben What's that? Maybe you're at home and you're like, oh, Sunday. England people like Sunday. It's not Sunday. It's actually black pudding. And black pudding is a local dish that people eat, um, especially after they've been drinking. So if you've had two bottles of soju or five bottles of soju, if you eat this food, no hangover. Life is perfect. Everybody's okay. 
maybe I lie, but it's supposed to be good for that kind of thing. But it's actually intestines and mixed together like a sausage and you fry it and it's really delicious for breakfast in the morning. So English breakfast is really hearty, but English food is not healthy. And Europe people always say that English food is terrible. If you ask your professor, oh, which food is the worst in Europe? UK, 100%, everybody hates the UK food. Now, I'm just gonna introduce my family really quickly, just so that you know, and it's really easy to introduce them because there's not many. So the first one is here, and that's my mother and I. And my mom and I uh, look very similar. You can see it in our faces, we look similar together. Um, and you can see here, uh, again, a little bit of closer view, we look similar. And as you can see, most importantly, snow makes us all cute. I love snow, it makes everything better especially my face, you, you. Next time, oh, we have a crazy member of the family and we have a wild sister appear. So you can see this is me and my sister. Again, snow is perfect, but my sister and I are very similar aged, but one of us is older. Who is older? Hmm, we'll see. Uh, my sister's name is Faye, and as you can see, she's crazy. So if you look at this face, it's just, oh, burning my eyes oh. now obviously I'm kidding I love my sister and, and I love my mother my family super small but we have one more member the best member and it's my dog and my dog is called D4 D4 dog like the letter D D4 dog so D4 is a really sweet dog and you can see here me and D4 together um, she's an idiot and she never listens to me so I'll be like, hey, come here, come here. Never comes to me. If I have sausage, she'll come to me because she loves food. So I understand her, but she doesn't listen to me. She does her own thing, does whatever she wants. But me and Difa are a great match if she would only listen to me. Now, the next one is just a couple of pictures of me and my sister, especially when we were young. So you can see here, there's a picture of my sister and I. Now you can see here, my sister and I don't look the same. If you're at home and you're like, oh, Fraser, you look the same. I'm crying. We don't look the same. <laughs> my sister and I, a little bit different. I look like my mom. My sister looks like my dad. Now, hopefully you can see one of us is older. Who's older? I'm praying, I'm hoping you're saying my sister. My sister is one year older than me. Uh, my sister is a year older than me or a year and a half older than me. She's really intelligent. She is a scientist. Uh, so she got a PhD, so she's Kwa in astrophysics. And she's a really intelligent woman. And her job is CSI. So she works with guns in England and she looks at how murders and things happen now. She used to work as a spy, so she used to be like uh, 007 or 007 in English, as we always say. She used to do analyst kind of work for them, but she changed her job and she works for the police now, so she does that kind of thing. But my sister's not important, so I think I can do this one. Okay. Not important. <laughs> the most important thing that is on this PPT today. Oh no, maybe red's the better color. No, red. No, we'll go pink. No, we'll go black. This part here. Oh, you can't even see it. Game over, Fraser. This part here. Yeah. So obviously, this is the most important part, and that is because I'm a Manchester United fan. So. I know that Manchester United is Mengu and they're not doing so well at the moment, but I'm always a Man United fan, always. So don't ever worry, just try your best to tell me about how you love Manchester United. And as you can see, when I was younger, I was a little bit cute, maybe as a baby, but as I get older, it's game over.
but back to this one. Is anybody a fan of Man City or Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Real Madrid? Because I can give you a free F grade anytime you want. Just tell me, I'll always be able to help you with that one. So we've gone through the main points and especially the fact that Manchester United is super important. But I'm only kidding. If you hate sports, don't worry. I have many other interests and I will try to explain those to you now. I just want to give you a cute picture of me and my sister because we used to be cute. And you can see our hair color is very light in these pictures. So when we're children, it's really light. But as we get older, it gets darker and darker. But I'm not cute anymore. So game over by Fraser. Now I'm going to give you a list of five things. I like or I love them and you can just think about them and try and guess and then I'll go through each one. So the first one is them Hello Kitty. Do I like Hello Kitty? Number two. <gasps> oh no, oh no, ah hide, hide, oh no, ah ah no ah I guess you're gonna see my Hello Kitty picture forever. I guess it's Otaku picture, but don't worry. Uh next one, Korean drivers. I uh, I drive from Bundang. Next one. People who text all the time during class. Next one, getting game requests from students anytime. And the last one, I can't eat spicy foods. Yokbok level one. So which ones of these are true? So I guess number one is true. I've got a picture right here. Here I am. Number two, Korean drivers. Um, I drive from Bundang or close to Bundang every day. So I get a little bit stressed, not just with Korean drivers, English drivers, everybody. It's a little stressful to drive. But if you're ever late for class, I'll understand because you have to drive or you've got a bus. So I understand that Moyon is a little far away. So I understand. But if you live on campus in dormitory, which you all do, then you should be able to make our classes super easy. Next one, people who text in class time. Do I like it? No. We have a break time, you can use the break time. We have time to do lots of things, so don't worry about that. You can use break time to text, talk, watch YouTube, you know, watch whatever you want. Next on, getting game requests from students. You have my cacao talk. Don't send me any game requests. I don't need any. I already watch too much YouTube and watch too much Netflix. So you don't have to worry about that. Just send me... Um, messages appropriately and I'll respond to you straight away and the last one I can eat spicy food or I can't eat spicy food sorry yokdok level one like chakanna actually I'm not nepjili I'm actually really good at eating spicy food and I actually like yokdok so yokki tokboki and I can eat level five now believe me it kills me but I can do it it, it can happen but I really like to eat spicy food now, this is a real list because most of those were negative except for Hello Kitty. Um, I really like traveling. I've been to over 45 different countries around the world. Um, whenever I have a break in winter or summer vacation, I like to travel to a few countries. Next on food, I eat all the time. Now, from the video, you really can't see my face or my body, but I love to eat food. I love to eat chocolates and coffee. Uh, I went to Yangochi, like one refill restaurant, and I managed to eat 55, 55 Yangochi. Like I ate 55 different skewer. The idea is, I'm, I'm. Yes, <clears throat> no comment. <clears throat> I love food. Next one, people. I really like people. I love family, friends, good students. I'll talk to everybody and anybody. If you have a question, don't be shy. Come and talk to me. I'm here to help you and I want us to have a great relationship together. Next on, sports and exercise. So I eat a lot, but I also exercise every day. I love being outside. Uh, Korea has misemonji, fine particle dust. And that kind of makes it difficult for me to play sports outside sometimes, like playing football. So I go to the gym every day. Uh, if I did a regular day it would just be me going to the gym maybe I go see some friends maybe I do something interesting but in general I always exercise no matter what 
No, that's not music. Um, I really love listening to all kinds of music. Uh, I like watching musicals and shows. And when I was a middle school student, uh, and even, I guess, elementary school, I was in musicals. So I always did singing and acting and dancing as a child. So it was really fun for me. But when I went to high school and university, I was a sports player. So I did like boxing um, and football and rugby and cricket. So I was on a few teams. So my tastes changed. But in the past, I loved being, you know, in front of people and talking. But as I got older, I became a little bit shyer. But don't ask me to sing, because if I sing, I'm sure you'll cry. And you'll be like, not with tears of happiness, but tears of sadness. And the top one on that list is traveling. So in winter vacation, I went to a few places. Uh, I went to the UK and I went to Malta. Um, I made a friend. I I'm very, very outsider. So, you know, I want to be Inza, but I have to make friends like this. Um, here you can see uh, the sea is really beautiful, but it was winter in Europe, so it was cold. So we went to many beautiful places when I was there in Malta. Uh, as you can see, I went to Busan. Uh, I went to like Hyundai, Guangari, uh, had a beautiful time. The most important picture is this one here, because that's all of our dreams. We all want to be a bhikkhu, and we all want to have lots of money. So this is a real one, and that's what I want you to look at. Make it your dream too. But there's me, and as you can see, I always make heart poses, or I'm always doing something in my pictures. Like here, you can see this is this winter vacation when I went to Saipan. Beautiful looking coastlines, beautiful sunset beautiful clear beaches, not many people, um, but I always make hard poses for my Instagram or students ask me to do things for that so I put them like that. Uh, I also went to Vietnam during winter vacation so I took some pictures here as you can see it like Hoi An and then I went to Da Nang as well. Um, the final one I went to Boracay and I went there and as you can see handstand Fraser on Puka Beach, jumping Fraser, hard Fraser, like poses, the beaches, uh, near station one, uh, every night watching the sunset go down in a beautiful place. It was really nice to go somewhere. And as I'm from the seaside, that's my hometown, Scarborough, I always love to go somewhere that's warm and has a beautiful sea. So I always go to the beach when I can, and I always try to enjoy myself, try to see beautiful things, but I love traveling because you get a chance to meet new people. And in this class time, that's what I hope we can do. M meet each other, talk together, become friendly and close. And don't be a stranger. Don't be shy. Be confident and just try and talk to me as much as possible. And talk to each other as much as possible. So those were my traveling pictures. And what we'll do is I'll just explain about a couple of things that we have to do. Hey, wake up, we're almost finished. Okay, everyone, it's time to almost finish. I didn't say finish, we have a little bit more to do. But the idea is the final part of class is very simple. I'm just gonna recap some information and then we're gonna do a Google Doc form. And the idea is you just give me some basic information about you. And that part of class should only take 10 minutes. So I'm sorry, I'm really sorry <laughs> that I've taken so long to do everything, but. Today's class, I've explained everything, but if you ever have a problem, remember, always address me as Fraser or Mr. Johnston Deesby, but Fraser is fine. Remember that I'm always in Beng Yongguan. Uh, my email, if you need to get in touch with me, just send me an email there. But the most important one and the easiest way to remember to contact me is with, ba -bang, there, Cacao Talk. If you send it to me, Huff's Fraser, I'll get back to you within like a couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes. But if I don't have class, I'll always message you and I'll always have something to say, so I'll help you. Never a problem. And as I said, appointment, if you really want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, then you can, look there, it says there, arrange, email me, send it, no problem. I'll always help you and I'll always be here to make English learning fun, hopefully. Now, what I want to do is I want to just do a very simple Google form and I want you to go to this website here. So you can see that www.tinyearl.com 
slash F-R-A-P-E-A-1, so Fraser Piece 1. And what I want you to do is I want you to send this information to me. This will count as your attendance check. So you'll send that, send it to me, bam, finished. All is great for today's class. So what I want you to do is just go there. So again, I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Sad, but I don't, we're gonna say goodbye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through this with you. So if you look carefully, when you get there, you will get to a form that looks like this. And it will say first day questionnaire. So what I want you to do is just to fill in the information, like what's your name? In English, in Korean, your, doesn't matter to me. What's your student number? So this will be like 2019 or 2020 and then some numbers. When's your birthday? Very easy, write it down. What's your gender? Easy question. Uh, what's your email address? No problem, easy again. And the last one, what is your phone number or Kakao Talk ID? Now, what I want you to do is just to give me your information so that if there's ever a problem, I can contact you. Sometimes your class is wrong or sometimes I can't get in touch with students. So this is only in case there's an emergency. Maybe you missed a class. Maybe you didn't come to your test. I can, I can send a message and be like, are you okay? Where are you? Are you coming? And I'm sure you're okay or I'm sure there's no problem, but I just want to send you it in case. So if you send it to me, I'll always send you a message just to make sure. Next one. What do you want to learn from this course? What do you hope to learn? Like maybe you want to learn some speaking things or whatever you want to do. It's okay. Any choice. What grade? I'm sure everybody wants to get A+. Plus. Next one. Uh, why do you want to learn English? Do you want to learn English so you can speak to foreigners, get a job in another company or in another country? Like why do you want to learn English? What kind of foreign TV shows do you like? Which genre? What do you like? maybe Modern Family, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, just send it to me, just let me know, we're perfect. What's your favorite genre of music? Who do you like? Oh, I like rock music, music of my favorite bands, no problem, you like Queen, okay, no problem, just write it down. Tell me about your vacation, what did you do? What did you do for vacation? Maybe just Bangkok because of coronavirus. It's a sad story, but just, Try and write something down, no problem. Next one. What's your favorite drink? Maybe you love Somek. Maybe you love Soju. Maybe you love Coke. Whatever you like, just write it down and you'd be like, oh, I love Somek. Oh, I drink Somek every day. That's a problem. No, I'm kidding. Next one. What's your ideal type? Why? Maybe you like tall or strong or pretty or cute, kind, outgoing, happy, cheerful. And you'd be like, oh, I like this person because they look beautiful. No problem. Next one, if you could change anything about you, what would you change and why? Maybe you wanna be taller, maybe you wanna be shorter. Who knows, right? But the idea is you just wanna write down something if you do. Maybe you're perfect, and I hope you are because everybody's perfect in their own way. So you can write perfect, it's okay. Uh, I need a new smartphone. Which phone do you recommend and why? So you'd be like, oh, you should get a Note 10. The screen's bigger buy iPhone 11 so we can have couple phones. So cute, right? Any answer is okay. If you could have dinner with any person, who would you choose? <gasps> oh, this answer is perfect. Wow. Oh, that's a good answer. Oh, Fraser, good choice. Super, super you jam. No? Okay. Now, obviously I'm kidding, but you can choose anybody you want. You can write down any person who you think would be a good person to have dinner with. And the last one, it says, leave a comment for Fraser. Now you can write down anything you want. So you'd be like, Fraser, your video's too long, and I understand. But if you want to ask me a question, or you want something, uh, something to say to me, then just write it down here. Only I can see these answers. So whatever you write, it's only for me. So don't worry about other people seeing what you write, okay? So don't worry about that. Hey everyone, and that's it for today's class. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to listen to this. Hopefully I didn't scare you. Hopefully you're excited and eager to learn and have class together. And I just wanna to say to everybody to stay safe, be careful. I'm really looking forward to teaching you and that I really look forward for us to have a great relationship together and learn things together. Be happy in class time, always be positive with each other. So I really hope that everybody stays safe, keeps careful, like protect yourself from the coronavirus. 
and that in two weeks time I should see you face to face and everything will be great so everybody take care have a lovely day just be positive always think the best and you get a free hug so everybody take care and goodbye